No, there shouldn't be government mask mandates. I don't think at all. I mean, that's just a standard violation of property rights. And besides that, even if you think the novel coronavirus and COVID-19 are a really serious public health menace, you should still oppose lockdowns and mask mandates, political ones, that that actually makes it harder to contain. Like right now, because I personally, for various reasons, because like someone in my household, for example, has lung issues. And so we've been very vigilant about wearing masks and, and I'm talking N95s from the beginning, like back before wearing masks was cool, back when the CDC was telling Americans don't wear masks, we were wearing masks, right? And so I get into arguments with libertarians about this stuff. That there's a lot of memes getting shared that I think are not quite right. But my point is, even though I think COVID-19 is a bigger deal than a lot of libertarians do, you know, who like might use the word hoax or something, I'm all the more so opposed to the lockdowns because when I challenge libertarians, they quickly fall back on, well, you know, these mandates are crazy, right? And so that's kind of the point that, yes, when the government tries to force something, it causes a backlash. So people right now proudly say, ha I went to the store and didn't wear a mask because they're thinking this was this is coercively being rammed down our throats. And so I'm a hero by thumbing my nose at the system. Whereas if it were voluntary, if the government just, you know, put out health information and said, we're going to let stores make their own decisions, you know, buyer beware, and then individual storekeepers could look at the evidence and say, okay, I'm going to have policies or not. Then if somebody said, oh, I, I went in there and lied about this pre-existing condition because I didn't want to wear a mask, they'd be like, okay, so you're just not doing what the store owner wants on his property just because you don't feel like putting on a mask. That's not cool, right? So, so that's what I'm saying, that the, the, the social customs or the mores would be flipped. And beyond that, though, in a world where it really was left up to each individual establishment what rules to have, in a large city, presumably at least some of the establishments would say, hey, at this place – you got to have a mask on to come in, whereas other places wouldn't have that policy. And so the population would self-sort. So the people who didn't think COVID-19 was a big deal or who thought, oh yeah, it's a big deal if you're in a nursing home or something, but I'm young and healthy, what do I care? They would go to the stores where you don't have to wear masks. And the people who were vulnerable or who like had somebody at home that they really wanted to make sure they didn't accidentally pass it on to, they would wear their masks and wear them properly. You know, they wouldn't be like these people who just slap something on and their nose isn't covered and things like that. And they would go to the stores that had the policy. So no, that's exactly what you want. You see how that's a much better isolation strategy than right now where it's one size fits all. The government says every establishment has to have a mask policy. So now no matter where you go shopping, half the people in the store think masks are stupid and they're not really taking it seriously. They're not putting them on properly. And so right now, this is, this is a terrible outcome, even for people like me, who I'm being extremely vigilant about making sure I do what I can to not catch the virus, because I don't want to accidentally, like say, pass it on to someone in my household. So I would much rather there be non-coercive rules in place so that we could go to the one store in town, for example, that you know, has a strict mass policy, because I would know the other people in the, that store with me shopping are all taking it very seriously, and their masks are going to fit properly and blah, blah, blah. All right.